today's episode, um, we are going to be working a little bit more and deeper on our um, plans. And then we're also going to mess around with the collision a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do I'm going to work on the collision. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. And so to do that, we're going to go into our grass tile set, go to the tile set, make this a bit bigger, click it. And as you can see, it's a little, might be a little different than when you have, I'm going to click it. <clears throat> and if you go into the collision, what you're going to want to do is, um, if we click the concave and you click something, click a corner or click a box, for example, that's fine. Um, the snap option should pop up. I'm not hundred percent sure that'll pop up the first time if you don't do this, but if it does, perfect. If it doesn't, that's okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to set the step to two and two. And so that's how you get this to look like this because before it was 32 and 32, but I want it to be two and two. Um, so the reason being is I'm going to delete that and then I'm going to go into here. So every time you want to edit a collision, you have to click the box. And the reason you're able to select the entire thing is because that is the selected tile. So the selected tile is clicking a tile and selecting it. And the snap option right there, that is the actual collision that we're going to be working with. So to do that or to, to edit the collision, what we're going to want to do is use the concave. And to do that is to click a corner. It's a bit hard to click the corner sometimes, but you click the corner, click the corner, and you kind of just draw out the collision. And so I'm going to draw how, how I want it to be. And then once you draw a full circle, it'll fill in and then that's good. And we're just going to click out and I'm going to do this one. So I'm going to try to rush through it a little bit. I'll just do a few, just so you guys kind of understand. Oh, I got to select the concave one how to do this on your own. I'll let you guys kind of do the rest later on on your own, but I'm just going to do this circle so that way we have the basic collisions. For these ones, you can just make the box because that might work better or faster. Click the corner, corner, up, all the way around. Awesome, go up. Make the box, put it in. Do, do, do. Go here, concave. And this might be a bit of a hassle, but this allows for very specific um, collision in our in our actual game. And so this will allow us to kind of not. Oop. Sorry. Ah. Eat that, click it, there we go. Um, this will allow us to not um, collide with the water. So I'll show you in a second, I'm gonna finish this one. Awesome, okay, so we've, as you can see, we've done the clean for these two. Um, so now if I save it, go back to my world, what happened is now if I have a straight box, no, this won't work. I didn't do the collision for that one. Um, but what happens is if I launch, and ah, it crashed. Ah, it completely crashed. Okay. Um, the reason is because I'm trying to load something I haven't made yet. Ha, <sighs> yes. Okay. All right. I'll test it in a second. I just want to do something else that I want to add. Um, so we'll keep the load function in. In our utils, we're going to create a, or not a util, sorry. In our game, we're going to create a new function called um, plot. And this is going to be a dictionary. Um, there's two ways to do this. Either one, you just do it and it becomes a dictionary automatically, or you can specify that it's a dictionary. Um, in this case, we'll say it's a dictionary. And to make this dictionary, what we're going to do is we're going to have zero, the semicolon, and right after we'll do, um, we'll actually have another dictionary inside of that. And then inside this dictionary, we're going to have time. We'll do zero comma, and then we'll also have plot or no seed. Let's do 
let's do seed first. So seed and then time. And then we'll just set zero for now. And then what we can do is just duplicate this and have one. So now we have a dictionary plot. Inside our dictionary, we have zero and one. And inside those ones, so inside zero, contains another dictionary, um, seed and time, right? Which have the value zero and zero right now. We don't want them to be zero and zero, but we'll set them on later on. Um, and so current date, we're actually gonna delete it because we no longer need that. We're gonna go into our utils. We're going to um, delete this, delete the current date. And I'm going to copy the utils. I'm gonna say game.plot and save the plot. Now, if I go into my main menu, I'm going to save and then load. So make sure you don't load when you change variables, otherwise it'll error. So save and then load, so that way it resets it. Now load it again, and we're in, and nothing has changed. However, um, now we can test the collision. So if I go to the corner here, I should not be able to collide. I should not be able to exit our world. So now I can not leave, right? So we have pretty smooth collision as well on the top, so you can kind of see it's pretty smooth. And so that's how we're going to make the collision. Um, so on your own time, you can complete the rest of the tile set. So I'm not going to do that on, on the video. Um, I want you to do it on your own. I want you to figure out if you need help, let me know, and I'll try to help you in the comments section below. Um, if, if it seems that a lot of people really need help, I can make a separate video for that later on and kind of speed it up a little bit. But for now, I'm going to leave it like this, and I'll finish the rest later on. All right, um, next thing we're going to do is in our plot of land. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna complete all this. And then this is going to be our little home. This is gonna be our game. And so I'm going to go into our camera and I'm going to set it to, I'll set it to five. 30 and five, uh, 305. No, I'll do 320 as well. All right, there we go. So that way our camera no longer goes too far out. So this is our entire game essentially right here. And in our game, we're going to have a plot of land. So to do that, we're going to, we're going to actually move our plants above our player because before I could, now I have a show on top of it, not behind it. There we go. Um, next thing we're going to do is we don't want to just spawn random plants. What we want to be able to do essentially is have a plot of dirt and click on it and spawn it on that dirt. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to tile map, or not tile map, sorry. We're going to open a new node. We're going to find our dirt. There it is. And we're gonna drag this in. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to scene on top left, go to convert to tile set, and we are going to put it, tile maps, I'm going to say dirt, and then just save. Oh, did it save it? Let me check, there it is. Um, and now if we, what we can actually do, I believe, is if I open this, nope, I'm gonna have to make a new one. All right, and that's okay. So close this, we don't need it. Close UI, we don't need that either. Um, what we'll do is actually just make the, no, we'll actually make it, so tile map. Tile map, we'll say this is dirt, and then we can drag in the dirt trez. And now, if we go into it, there's absolutely nothing in there. So that is very strange. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, okay, I see why. Um, all right, instead, we'll delete this. That's okay. And then we'll make it from scratch again. Sorry. Okay, so what I just tried to do did not work. Okay. Now I know. It has to be separate um, sprites. Um, I've done this before in other videos, but doesn't but that can, I can do that that way. All right, so let's make a new tile set, put in our tile dirt. Um, you, can do, you can do auto tile on your own time, but for now, I'm going to do single tile, and I'm going to do, I have to change this to 16 by 16 first. Um, new single tile. And now, if I go into my dirt, I'm going to have to go into my cell, do 16 by 16, 16 by 16, and now I can make dirt. Awesome. I'm going to tile map. I'm going to save the dirt. I'm going to close it. 
go into our world. We're going to go to our dirt, our grass. I'm going to put it right under. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a few dirt. And now what we're going to do, or what I want to do essentially, is every time I click on that, I want it to average down onto our dirt. But this is the idea. So for now, um, I think that's going to end the video. But yeah, so on your own time, I want you to try to finish the grass collision. Um, and I want you, before the next video, before you even watch the next video, if it's already up, try to think about how we're going to do this. One, think about the clicking on top of the dirt, right? So I don't, I want to essentially be able to click outside and not spawn something. If I click something inside, I do want to spawn it, right? So think about it. And then also another thing I want to be able to do is if I am inside this dirt, how do I, how do I center it in the middle of the dirt, right? Because I can kind of put it anywhere and it just looks messy, right? So I want you to think about it. And if you can figure it out, good for you. If you can't, watch the next video, subscribe, like, and comment, and I will show you how to do that.